Hi guys, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, I wanted to say hello to all of you. I am super, super excited to be back making videos. I am so glad that I am going to be able to spend more time on YouTube, less time doing other things that are less exciting. <laughs> I have a lot of things planned and in store for the future, yay! The month of July has been totally nuts. First off, for July, obviously 4th of July, all that, that was fun. Last year, okay, hold on, let me rewind. I just rewind back. Last year in July, I got married. Yeah, I know. I got married, which is super exciting, um, on July 12th, 2014. And so this year was our one year wedding anniversary. So last year for our honeymoon, we went to California. I was a California first timer and I absolutely loved it. We did Disneyland, we did all of that, the beaches, everything, and I was obsessed. Our very last day in California, we decided that we were going to go to the filming of The Price is Right. We ended up going to The Price is Right, and super crazy long story short, I got chosen to be on the show. So yes, they yelled my names, I come on down, it was crazy, and I screamed and jumped on Drew Carey, and yeah, anyways. <laughs> got to be on the show, I won the round of bidding, and then I got to run up on stage and play my prize game. My prize game was a game called Pushover, and you had to like push the blocks over the edge and line up the numbers for a trip to London. So I had to take these boxes and me and Jeff were kind of in sync during this part because we were just like looking at each other trying to decipher what on earth the price of this trip could be because I had no clue. I've never gone on an international trip. I've never been to London, so I was like, I don't know. So me and Jeff were kind of trying to decide out of the numbers which one would make the most sense. And I ended up playing the game and Drew Carey flipped the thing down and said congratulations we're going on a second honeymoon to London. <laughs> we did go to London. We were there July, well we flew from July 8th to July 9th and then we were there the 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, and the 15th. We were there for a little bit and then we left that day. But yeah, we got to go to London. It was insane. It was so cool to get to see that side of the world. If you live there, I am sincerely jealous of you because it's just, it's beautiful there. Like absolutely beautiful. And there's so much to see and do and just the city is so nice. And huh. oh, I got my hair cut while I was in London. Took a little trip to Brighton Beach and it was amazing there. I absolutely loved it. I went and got my hair cut by the amazing Phil at Simon Webster Hair. So thank you so, so much for doing my hair. I absolutely love it. And it feels so much better and so different and I can't stop touching it. The month of August is going to be extremely exciting. I may or may not have a back to school giveaway coming up. I wanted to take this time to do my monthly favorite slash end of summer favorite slash just things that I've been loving. I am going to go ahead and get started with my favorites. Without further ado, let's go. First of all, when I went to go and get my hair cut in Brighton Beach, England, the shampoo that they used at their salon, I completely fell in love with and I had to know what it was. So I ended up emailing them and asking them what they ended up using on my hair because I liked it so much and it turned out it was this. So this is just the gentle shampoo from Bumble and Bumble and this stuff is awesome. I was really satisfied with this shampoo. It just made my hair feel really smooth and really nice but still gave it like kind of a little bit of texture. I really, really like it. My next favorite that I have absolutely been obsessed with for probably at least a year now, it is the Makeup Forever Lipstick. This color is called N9. I also got this at Sephora. And I'm wearing it right now, kind of mixed with some other stuff, but this is a really awesome, like, everyday lipstick. And it's very, very moisturizing, so it makes your lips feel really nice, and it doesn't feel like you have, like, a thick, sticky, nasty lipstick on. It's just a really nice, like, kind of neutrally color, and I really like it. And it looks good, especially for everyday use, so this is a huge thumbs up. Another thing that I cannot live without is by the company called Fresh and it is their sugar chapstick. This stuff is the best thing ever. Like, I don't think I could carry on with life if I didn't have this. The next thing is this Revlon Color Burst Lip Pencil. Well, they call it a matte balm. Kind of like the Makeup Forever lipstick. It's a really like natural, neutral color. It's really easy to apply, so if you don't feel like having like the whole lipsticky feel, it does have a really natural feel to it, but it's still really, really nice. This 
is my current favorite eyeshadow. I've been using this color for a while. This is in the color Sin by Urban Decay. And it is like this really nice kind of champagne, sparkly, shimmery color. I'm obsessed. I wear it literally every day. I don't know if you can even tell on the camera, but I wear it literally every day. This is a really awesome everyday shadow. You can really like dress it up or dress it down kind of thing. Another thing that I've been using a lot is the Benefit Gimme Brow Brow Gel. I like to use this stuff after I pencil my eyebrows in. And I kind of like to just seal it all in with this Gimme Brow. It's going to not only hold your eyebrows in place, but it also has like a thickening agent into it. So almost like the thickening mascaras that have the little fibers in it that adhere to your eyelashes. It's just like that except designed for your eyebrows. Next up, my favorite mascara. This is called Lash Sensational. This is their waterproof mascara and it is really, really nice. And it has a curved brush like this. So it has the curved brush so it goes onto your eyelashes really well. Next up is a product that I have heard absolutely everybody and their mothers talk about. This is a beauty blender. I had had this thing for at least a year or two and it was just hiding in a drawer because I was kind of like, eh, it's just a makeup sponge, whatever. Well, I've been using the heck out of this. You can use this to apply your makeup, but I personally like to use it to blend my makeup. I take this and I just kind of like dabble it on. And you can even use this side that's more of a triangle to like get up here so that it blends out your concealer and like in the cracks of your nose and stuff like that. I don't know how I even put makeup on before I had this thing. Obviously when you're wearing your makeup, at the end of the night you do have to take it off. This is the Makeup Forever Sensitive Eye Makeup Remover. This stuff is powerful. It is no joke. I have had this bottle for a long while and it is literally down to here. You use the tiniest amount ever and I like to just put a little pump of it on my hand and then rub it on my eyelashes like with my finger and then I will take like a tissue and just wipe it off really gently or my makeup wipe that tends to do the job for me the stuff works really really well but if you're kind of balling on a budget and you don't want to spend a ton you can get some baby oil for super cheap just like the normal baby oil and that stuff takes your eye makeup off really well. Another thing that I really really like are these Neutrogena Naturals makeup wipes. These will very very easily take off all of your makeup and they do a really nice job. They don't irritate your skin and if you have sensitive skin like me these could potentially be your best friends. I have been really obsessing over all of the John Green books lately. I had bought this book about a week into the month of July and I was determined to finish reading this by the end of our trip. So I was going to read it on all of our plane rides and any free time that I got so that I could see the movie once it came out July 23rd, 24th, whatever. The book was amazing and coming from someone that has lived in Orlando, it was really cool to like see all of the references to the city and talking about Disney World and International Drive and the highways and Winter Park and all that. It was really cool to like read about that and it was a really really good read. On the 23rd Jeff and I went to Night on the Towns and it was like the premiere of the movie Paper Towns and I absolutely loved the movie. Obviously they changed the movie a little bit from what the book story was but I was still really satisfied with how it came out and I was really happy about it and I loved it. I think the actors were great. Cara Delevingne was amazing and Nat Wolf. They were so cute together and I wish they were an actual couple. This next favorite kind of has a backstory. A friend of mine that I have been friends with for quite a few years, she got diagnosed with cancer. One day she posted on her Facebook page saying that she was selling these crystal necklaces, kind of just trying to make a couple dollars from not having a job due to having cancer and not feeling well. They really helped take her mind off everything. So while she was going through such a tough time, she started making these necklaces to keep her busy. I'm a Libra, so she helped me pick out a rose quartz and this is the very first necklace that she made for me. I kind of just told myself that I wasn't taking this necklace off until her cancer was gone. I wore this necklace every single day and didn't take it off every single day and one day I got the call and she said that her scans came back and her cancer was completely gone. So she has these really beautiful crystal necklaces. She can make pretty much any kind of crystal. She has a ton of different ones to choose from and if you message her she'll be able to like help you pick out the one that's going to be best for you because they all kind of have different meanings to them. This is basically like a love stone 
and it just always kind of grounded me and reminded me to love. So it's kind of like a nice little reminder to have around your neck. She made me a few other ones too and I just want to share those with you really quick. I will leave a link to her Etsy shop below in the description bar, so if you are interested in potentially getting a crystal necklace, check that out. Maybe you'll find one that you like. Last but not least, I feel like such a grown-up showing you guys this because half of you are probably interested and half of you probably aren't. I don't know. It makes me really sad that this is what excites me. This is laundry detergent. This is laundry detergent from Scentsy and it is from their Layers collection and I recently started using this and it's amazing. It smells so good. And then there are these washer whiffs which these are like little crystals that you can add to your washer and just pour them over your clothes and it just adds like a little of fragrance if you will. Another thing I really like, this is a dryer disc from Scentsy. I kind of pair these three products together and it makes your clothes or sheets or towels or whatever you're washing smell insane. Like it smells so good. I am pretty obsessed with anything Scentsy. All of their smells are amazing. There's gonna be new fall ones coming out soon and I can't wait. Oh, another favorite. Well, it's not really, I don't know, maybe it's not a favorite, but it's the thing that I've been liking, so why not? I really, really, really love Instagram. I mean, maybe I'm like really late on the bandwagon, but I've been on it for a while. <laughs> um, but I just haven't used Instagram as much as I want to, but I've been using it like more frequently and I love it. If you have an Instagram account and want to come say hello, my handle is just at Kelly Universe and I'd love to say hi to you and be able to kindly friend stalk you. That concludes my favorites for the month of July slash end of summer slash everything else. If you have any suggestions of things that I should try or check out that are your favorites, I would love to hear about them. Just leave it down in the comments below and I will definitely check some things out. I love discovering new products and hearing from you guys. So if you like this video and want to see more, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you stick around and be part of my universe. My back to school giveaway is coming really soon. I have all of my back to school supplies sitting right over there. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye guys!